From a bridge getting washed away by Hurricane Fiona as she battered Puerto Rico, and a group of climbers narrowly escaping a deadly avalanche on Mount Everest, to a violent storm in Texas blowing apart a suburban neighborhood, and a massive landslide in central China that almost ruined one driver's morning commute. Here are 10 shocking natural disasters that were caught on camera. Hidalgo County, Texas is one of the fastest growing communities in the United States. Situated on the Rio Grande River in South Texas, Hidalgo shares a border with Reynosa, Mexico. On June 24th of 2019, both communities fell victim to the Great June Flood, the sequel as the National Weather Service calls it. Over a foot of rain battered Hidalgo County for six grueling hours. The wind blew sideways, and hundreds of streets were inundated with water. Footage taken during the heart of the storm gives new meaning to the term Texas Flood. If it's not bolted to the ground, it's not safe. Our homeowners bravely record the violent storm from their patio, but it gets too dangerous to stay outside. The power clearly went out a long time ago, judging by the dim candles we see all over the house. The sequel came about 367 days after a massive storm in June of 2018 caused similar damage across the Rio Grande Valley. Once the rain subsided in 2019, over 1,100 homes were either destroyed or suffered major damage. The sequel caused between $50 and $100 million worth of destruction, maybe even more. On September 18th of 2022, Hurricane Fiona smashed into Puerto Rico. She brought 111 mile per hour winds and dropped about two feet of rain on the island, resulting in widespread flooding. In the town of Utuado, the flooding caused the Guaunica River to overflow. First responders watched helplessly as the bridge connecting both sides drifted downstream. The bridge never stood a chance against the raging current. You can hear it crack before it breaks free on the other side. The river pulls the bridge downstream, dragging the guardrails behind like a rope. Rescue workers can hardly believe what they're seeing. Just when things couldn't get any worse, now they're stuck on opposite sides of the river. The bridge was built in 2017 after Hurricane Maria knocked out the original. The metal bridge was supposed to be temporary. Clearly, Fiona wanted to keep it that way. April 25th of 2015 was the deadliest day in Mount Everest's history. A 7.8 magnitude earthquake ravaged Nepal, triggering a massive avalanche near the southern base camp. According to The Guardian, there were at least 300 climbers and hundreds more Sherpas on the mountain when the avalanche struck. Those above base camp, at camps 1 and 2, were okay. It was those waiting down below that caught the brunt of it. Our climbers must have just felt the earthquake. One of them comments on how scary it is. Then, someone calls out with a terrifying warning. I look like you fall. Wait for a minute. Oh my god. Yeah, you got that Whoa, 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 whoa! Fuck! 
They sprint back towards the tents, looking back over their shoulders every few steps to see if they're safe. Unfortunately, there is no outrunning the massive wave of snow. Oh, fuck. Our climbers disappear in a blanket of snow. All we can hear are their desperate gasps. It sounds like they make it inside a tent, judging by the zipper sound and the yellow hue. The men cough and gasp for air. They were fortunate to be alive, but had no idea how bad things were for others on the mountain. Different sources put the avalanche death toll between 17 and 24. All told, April 25th of 2015 was the deadliest day in Everest history. Luckily, everybody in this video was safe. The Philippine capital of Manila is the country's second most populated city. Home to about 1.8 million people, the city is known as the Pearl of the Orient and is full of museums, parks, theaters, and shopping malls. But on June 22nd of 2022, the Pearl almost got blown away. The initial weather report called for partially cloudy skies and isolated rain showers. What they got looked more like a tornado. You're looking at a freak squall, a sudden and sustained increase in wind speed between 16 and 22 knots, or 18 and 25 miles per hour. The wind is strong enough to send red road barriers sliding across the street. One of them smashes into a car, and the driver figures it's safer to stay put. Something heavy hits the ground in front of our cameraman, forcing him to take a few steps back. Meanwhile, the squall shreds trees, and more red barriers slide across the wet pavement. Someone on a scooter appears off to the right, though we have no idea where they think they're going. According to local reports, several roads were considered impassable the next morning due to uprooted trees and debris. False reports came out that a super typhoon was on its way to Manila, but they were quickly debunked. It was just a freak but powerful rainstorm. The Aba Tibetan and Qiang Prefecture, known as Aba but spelled differently, is an autonomous region in central China. Like most of Southeast Asia, heavy rain leads to frequent landslides, which can damper anybody's morning commute. Just ask these drivers, who were a few hundred feet away from disaster.
The entire road fills with dust and debris. Another angle from the road below shows the cloud hovering over some bushes. One image shows where the landslide likely came from. Another shows the entrance to a tunnel under the mountain, now completely blocked by rocks and dirt. The final image may have been taken moments before the landslide began. Hopefully, those workers got out of the way in time. Local reports claim nobody was harmed during the landslide. Another driver allegedly made it through the tunnel in the nick of time, blasting out the other end like a stunt driver. On October 30th of 2020, a 7.0 magnitude earthquake struck in the Aegean Sea between Greece and Turkey. While the Greek island of Samos was closer to its epicenter, the Turkish city of Izmir suffered the most damage. Earthquakes have a bad habit of triggering tsunamis, and they don't have to be giant monster waves to cause severe damage. While standing on the shore and recording the ocean, one Turkish man was forced to hop in his car and outrun the incoming water. The small waves don't seem too menacing. Then, our cameraman's buddy sees the big one coming. They run to the car as water inches across the beachhead. Our cameraman hands the phone off as he drives, and his friend records their daring escape. Let this video serve as a warning. When you get a tsunami warning, move away from the ocean, not towards it. Pineville is a small town in central Louisiana. They're across from Alexandra on the other side of the Red River, and the original home of Louisiana State University before they moved to Baton Rouge. In mid-December of 2019, a severe tornado outbreak tore through the southern United States, spawning several strong and long-track tornadoes near cities like Alexandra and Pineville. During the storm, a worried husband was waiting for his wife to return from her doctor's appointment. As he stood in his garage, he recorded the tornado as it passed over his home. The wind picks up quickly in front of his house. Branches snap and fly away from the trees across the street, and our homeowner is forced to take a few steps back. We see his trash cans sliding across the driveway, and then something big whips across the screen. Once he feels the wind in the garage, he knows it's time to get inside. According to reports, an EF3 tornado, or perhaps multiple tornadoes, traced a 60-mile path of destruction between the towns of Deritter and Alexandra. Our homeowner in Pineville caught the tail end of it. He was able to contact his wife once the tornado passed. She was safe and sound, probably a little shaken up, if anything. Pescadero, California is a small community in San Mateo County, about 50 miles south of San Francisco. In early January of 2023, several days of heavy rain and floods battered the West Coast community. On the 14th, the San Mateo County Fire Department got a call about a crack in the road. When they arrived to investigate, they found much more than a pothole.
the soft ground beneath the sunken pavement gives way, and everything starts sliding down the mountain. It picks up a little speed, but eventually stops after about 20 feet. The New York Times called the travel conditions punishing, as rain, icy roads, and landslides cut off several roadways south of San Francisco. California Highway Patrol warned people not to drive unless it was absolutely necessary. Fallen wires, flooding, sinkholes, landslides, it was like the end times had come to Southern California. So, what was the official advice from the California Department of Transportation? Stay home and watch the football games. Hey, sounds like a decent plan to us. The Pasaman Regency is a county in West Sumatra, Indonesia. Like other Pacific Ring of Fire countries, Indonesia is highly susceptible to earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, not to mention the after-effects they usually bring. On February 25th of 2022, a 6.1 magnitude earthquake struck West Sumatra about 2.5 miles below the surface. Most of the damage was concentrated around three villages near Mount Talakmau, where mudslides and flash floods made things even worse. A local named Yuhendri Yanto kept his camera rolling as one of those mudslides washed through his village. A tsunami of mud and murky water tears through Yanto's backyard. He repeats the same phrase over and over again. We imagine it has some religious sentiment. The mudslide tears a tree down like it's nothing and continues through the village. You can hear a few others standing by, watching the disaster unfold. Indonesia had already dealt with heavy rain, floods, and landslides in the days leading up to February 25th. The earthquake simply shook everything else loose. According to Yanto, the mudslide washed away four houses and a mosque. Thankfully, no one was standing in the way when it tore through town. Imagine being the unluckiest person in a city of 5.6 million people. In the Turkish capital of Ankara, the second largest city behind Istanbul, one driver found out the world was out to get them. On May 6th of 2016, while their car was outside Nazgida, a small market chain in Turkey, a sinkhole opened up in the parking lot. Coincidentally, it opened perfectly around their car and nobody else's. Overnight security cameras recorded the car sinking into the ground, but nobody noticed what had happened until the next morning. It takes less than a minute for the black sedan to sink into the ground. The lights and alarm system go off, but we don't see how that helps. Imagine being so unlucky that your car is the one the Earth decides to swallow. Come morning, we see firefighters and other people gathered around the scene. Many of them wear the same I-don't-know-what-to-do expression on their face. Uh, is it just us, or do those firefighter helmets look like rebel pilot helmets from Star Wars? According to reports, a burst pipe beneath the parking lot caused the sinkhole. Water weakened the ground below the pavement, and the whole thing caved in around 5 a.m. The local government blamed it on a cesspool constructed in 1970, and therefore the Water and Sewage Authority didn't do anything wrong. Huh. It sure looks like a burst water pipe to us. The video ends with a firefighter lowering themselves into the hole, but the story keeps going from there. A vacuum truck arrived to pump the water out, but it also fell into the sinkhole. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.